friends, hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl Melissa Q. Oh, yes. Yes. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, girl, the tribe is live. Go on and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell is going to let you know. I post videos every week. I know. Oh, geez. I know. The late uploads. I know. But I got to be a mommy and a wifey first. I got to be, you know, I, I got some things, some business to handle before I get on camera. So um, I apologize for that. But sorry, not sorry. I just want to be a part of my family's life. And I want to miss, I don't want to miss those moments. Okay. Um, but you are still getting the uploads best and trust believe but if you hit the notification bell it's gonna let you know when i post videos even if i get that if you get that up low late y'all know not like nene leaks it's gonna pop up and it's gonna go bloop 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 i would love for you guys to be a part of the Mr. Q family over here the tribe is live okay in today's video we are doing ah, september favorites i am bringing the favorites back but i have a twist y'all know I don't like things boring and mundane and just repetitive, but we want to do some things that is going to make the tribe live, okay? The tribe is live over here. We're going to categorize our favorites. It's a short list, y'all, but let's get into it. I will come with current favorites, but that's going to be a longer list. Things that I have been using for months that I love. But this one, honey, honey. We want to talk about some things and let's just jump right into it. We are going to jump into hair right now. I do have pattern in my hair. You guys, I did a first impression, but I am still testing the product. I wanted to let you guys know because you was like, girl, what, what you doing? What you doing over there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I am still try, try, uh, trying out the product and I couldn't get that out. I'm trying out the product and um, I'm testing out. So far, so good though. So far, go so good. Surprisingly. But so far, so good. And surprisingly, y'all know. If if any of y'all know about glycerin, you know why I'm saying surprisingly. But anyway, very nice. Very nice. The first category I wanted to talk about is discontinued products. Now, let me say something. Okay? Some people don't like the fact that we come on camera and if the product is not available, if, it's, um, if we love it, um, y'all don't care. Okay? I care, okay? I like seeing discontinued products because I want brands to know to bring it back. Bring the stuff back, okay? And these are products that I, in the discontinued product, um, no longer, you can purchase them like on their website or anything, but I want them to know, bring the stuff back. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a $4 product that I purchased from Marshalls. And sometimes Marshalls do does have those products but it was in a haul you guys wanted to see it. I was like girl tell us how that gel was and so I brought you all the review these are both glycerin free stylers and um uh, yes beautiful curls this is from a brand called Alafia they are still in existence they do hair care products but I didn't see these or and they do body products and um, they do a couple of other I think they even do skincare but these are um, they actually have a cause behind this one is bicycles for education that they started in 2006 and then they also have restoration which is they work with rural farmers to plant 10,000 trees each year and it prevents soil erosion it helps negate the unpredictable effects of the climate change so this has a cause behind it which is even better but y'all the price really four dollars that's it four dollars three ninety nine and three ninety nine it's not three ninety nine but three ninety nine but i really enjoyed these to the point where i feel like you know what bring it back baby come back mm -hmm. these were so good i'd had to talk about them i know they're discontinued you might be able to find them on amazon or ebay but that's at the risk if it's not the authentic i think alafia is on amazon i did check that but Y'all, I love ya. Yes, I, I'm gonna send them a message. I need to send them a message. Bring these jokers back, okay? Because these were really, 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 really good. Why, why are you stop? Why? Okay. The next discontinued product that I am vouching for, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a micro influencer, okay? I'm a content creator, okay? But I need to talk to Norvina because Norvina, you did the thing with this World Traveler palette, the Shadow Couture. You need to bring this back. 
Okay, this needs to be on the permanent line. And let me tell you why. Because I feel like it has realistic shades in here. You have some mattes. You have some pops of beautiful pops of color. And they are some popular shades. Morocco is a popular shade. Fudge is a popular shade of ABH. And also Pink Champagne. Now, I have fallen in love with Intense Gaze, you guys. I don't know if you know, but I am panning this palette. Meaning that my goal is to use this in as many looks as possible until I hit pan in every single shade. Will I hit pan in every single shade? Probably not because some of these are not particularly my favorite. However, this is the old formula. This is not the formula that Norvina came out with the Modern Renaissance. The Modern Renaissance palette changed everything. And this was right before, but I think this was like a holiday launch. Uh, it wasn't like right, right before, but this was when you could tell by the length and the packaging this was a different era of abh but these colors are the truth there are several palettes that have the same color scheme but i can tell you that i really really enjoy this um some of the other palettes i do have a video on my second channel talking about wait before you buy another eyeshadow palette you probably already have it and i have like eight eyeshadow palettes with the same color scheme but y'all know ABH does it like no other if I had to pick one brand that was like affordable slash kind of like in the high end that I could get my hands on it would be ABH why because I have found so many comparable things the formulation is smooth the application is smooth you know um even when it comes to fallout y'all the pigment is on point it's just when it comes to pigment and pressing those shadows, you just have to know how to use them. But y'all know, ABH is on it. And nobody can deny it. It's just a great brand. But Norvina, bring this joker back, okay? We love this. You know, it sold out super, super quick. I was so glad to get my hands on it. And um, I think it needs to be a part of the permanent line. I'm just saying, is anybody with me? Comment down below. Let me know. Okay, the next product is the newest, the latest deep conditioner that I have tried that I absolutely, absolutely love. I did talk about it in a haul report. And haul report is basically just me. Things that I've hauled, I'm giving you a report on it, okay? And I've done these several on my channel and I absolutely love it. You guys love the haul report too. And this, my ill hydration conditioner with magongo oil y'all this is so good it is protein free so girls if you have issues with protein this is a yoga to okay it's eight ounces the only thing that i have um betwixt me and me like loving this with a deeper love to put it on the holy grail i mean it's already a holy grail i think i don't know but if this came in a 32 ounce do you know I would like buy that with a quickness? Okay. I really, really like this. Oh, this product. It's fresh. It's a nice scent. I think Mayel did an amazing job on this. I do have a review and I will link it up in the iCards or in the description box down below. So open it up if you're full amazing. Okay. Full of amazingness. Open it up. But I really do enjoy this deep conditioner. This is the new kid on the block, okay? That's that category. Another new kid on the block. I actually have three in this category. The second one is the CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. If you have dry skin, okay? This is if you have issues with protein. Yes, this is your go-to. If you have issues with dry skin and you are dull and you, your skin is dull and you need some radiance, y'all, this I really like like this is in the category not only new kid on the block but new kid I can't put down okay this is this smells straight up like oranges I'm not gonna even lie or next to rings but this is so good a little bit goes a long way it gives it gives me instant radiance like to my skin an instant glow and if you have like dehydrated skin dry skin if you need a boost the Sunday Riley CEO is your jam you can use this morning day and night morning and night there's morning and day is the same thing okay but you'll like this. Okay, another kid on the block that's new. I got this in a boxy charm, not a boxy charm. I got this in an Ipsy glam bag. 
This is amazing. This is the Thrive Mascara in Brian and Bryn. This is so good. It's on my lashes today. Y'all, I get so much drama with this. The only thing is I think I wish it had more volumizing. Like it makes the lashes thicker and everything. I not very not volumizing. More length. It gave me a lot more length. But this is so good. Thrive did such an amazing job. This is heavy too. You could hit somebody and hurt somebody with this, but this is the Liquid Lash Extensions. It's really, really good. I really enjoy it. It's one of the best mascaras that I have tried in a long time uh, since the Moncia Big and the Hypnos Drama by Lancome. Lancome really does me well and L'Oreal Maybelline mascaras from the drugstore but this one I haven't had um it looks a lot like the one from the super fiber by covergirl but this one is really really good and um I, I've heard really great things about this brand I also like their brow gel but those are new kids on the block is another kid on the block that's new and this is the classic sunscreen this is the white tea moisturizer and it's for your face it's SPF 50 I love using SPF 50 I've bumped it up as I'm getting older I've bumped it up and I put it on my neck and my chest just so you guys know but this is from one of my favorite brands Kula so um, I love the fact that they do put the expiration date this is not expiring until March of 2021 but this will be gone before 2021 it is really good but it's a new kid on the block just because I usually use my sun silk silk drops but this um, as the seasons are changing and I'm almost out of that I am moving over to another sunscreen so I'm really really enjoying this and I love the fact that it's SPF 50 let's talk about some old school favorites okay we go into the og category okay and this is a product that i have been loving since what two three years ago so this is an og in the og category this is the makeup forever this is the pro sculpting palette this is number 40 i will leave it linked down below there, there is a highlight a contour it also has a shimmer and a color now I love this color because if you are a woman of color and you need a color corrector you can actually use this if this is too dark you can take the concealer and mix them together and make your own custom shade of concealer I really really enjoy this it's something that goes with me on travel I've hit pan in the concealer already I'm about to hit pan in the blush and the contour is impeccable I love them so much I can just take this and I also can make my own custom foundation shade between the contour and this I can make my custom foundation very very light I love it I have a highlighter in here I love it so much and this is an OG this is something that uh, when I run out of this, I probably will pick up another one because it's great for travel. It's compact. It has it is very allows you to be very innovative and it gives you a such a beautiful it gives you a beautiful canvas. This is like the Makeup Forever foundation stick in like a pan form. I really do enjoy this and I feel like it's definitely worth the money. Another OG in terms of hair. This is the Hair Surreal Napalicious Kink Drink by oh my goodness this is by Sotanicals it is so good it's glycerin free so you won't have to worry about the frizzies if you are like me it smells amazing and it refreshes the hair very very well I love it so much and it's an OG another OG you guys is the DHC cleansing oil I did use this in courageous conversations in the get unready with me and I was using this this is so good so you put it on your face on a dry face okay and you just remove all the makeup when you rinse it off it turns into a milky texture and you do not have to double cleanse this is like the oil and the cleanser in one I'm just saying I haven't seen anything else like it I picked up two more of these during the Ulta 20 day 21 days of beauty because they had it this is so good okay this is like my favorite oil cleanser I, I want to try some more but I'm kind of like taken aback because if it's not as good as this I'm gonna be disappointed you know what I'm saying but everybody's been talking about the Sashado the Bosha you know um, I might try those and do a comparable but this is the truth I love it so much I keep this part just so the pump doesn't 
go down but I really really like it and this is Cape Beauty as well you can find this at Ulta they have the travel size the mini and they have this size I think they might even have a larger size but I really really like this and it's the bomb okay last item you guys this is from a brand called Senna now this is gonna be in the category of the product no one else talks about but should be and this is the former brow eyebrow stencil kit and this is in neutral this is so good this is the brow powder that I have on my eyebrows today and I actually use a brow like a brow brush with a spoolie I don't use the one that's in here because it just looks like a regular brush that you can just brush in the color and I do love the spoolie at the end but the color is so pigmented and rich and these are like very realistic shades okay if you have a little bit of brown if you have blonde if you have like a dark ashy I feel like that these are more muted but they're they don't make the brows look angry you know what I mean I love that it has a mirror in here the only thing I would change is instead of this brush I would use like an angle like a fine angle brush where you can go in I didn't even have to use concealer that's how good this is and the brow powder is so good I really enjoy this and this goes to the people that this is the unsung hero you know what I mean that's what this is there is a fail in this video and it goes to the Garnier skin active micellar eye makeup remover pads I feel like that there is there are things that I have in my arsenal in my makeup collection in my skincare collection that I don't like and I just toss I want to implement these into the video just to like girl save some money okay this was a really good idea that went wrong and let me tell you the reason why this is the micellar eye makeup remover pads I love these from Garnier I love uh, the Bioderma and I also love the L'Oreal however these are so small okay that um, I can say at least with the Shiseido or anything else I can use one of these and I could get all the makeup off y'all I have to use like four and five and six of these in one setting totally unfair I'm gonna go through these so quickly I try to use this as for travel but I feel like it it defeated kind of like the purpose you get a hundred pads you guys which I guess Mm, it's just so it's just too small and I feel wasteful using so many of them in one setting you know what I mean I feel like you know even I am going to keep the jar now this is what I am going to do I am going to actually put some acellular water in here take my Shiseido cotton pads and soak them keep them in here ready and fresh but I feel like that these are too small you know what I'm saying so mm, unfortunate I think it was a great idea I think the pad just needs to be made bigger and also uh, I'm gonna have to use this one soon but it also is like this thin thin cap cotton it needs to be like something more absorbent of like the things that you're taking off this is definitely for the eye only I don't think that you could use this for the face in the first place but um, yeah it it just is too small that's the no no after I use this, eh, I'm not getting this anymore. Okay, guys, those are all my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy the categories that I formulated. I think that it makes it more fun even for me, but I hope it's even more fun for you guys to watch. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.